initiatives of Warrangal City Police Commissionerate to get close to community have paid off and brought down incidents of crime. Warrangal Urban The crime rate has come down drastically under the limits of Warrangal City Police Commissionerate compared to last year. Thanks to people-friendly initiatives of the police, City Police Commissioner G. Sudhir Babu said. There was a sharp increase in dowry death cases from 12 in 2015 to 26 in 2016, while 220 cases of attempt to outrage the modesty were reported in 2015. The number rose to 343 this year, except for these two aberrations the cases of murder for gain, decoy, de murders, road accidents and others came down, the city police chief said, the cases involving SEC 498 day of IPC dowry harassment came down from 353 in 2015 to 343 this year so are very proud to say that we could bring down the number of road accidents considerably due to our special drive against drunken driving divided by he said, the number of road accidents in 2016 was 1,148 as against 1,308 in 2015, during the special drive against drunken driving. The city police registered 4,356 cases. This has helped in bringing down the accidents and deaths, the police commissioner said, bigger jurisdiction. In 2015, there were 19 police stations under the police commissionerate and the number has gone up to 44 after reorganization of districts. Now, the commissionerate includes Warangal Rural and Warangal Urban and Jangayan district serving a population of 23 blocks. The commissioner pointed out, Mr. Sudhir Babu said the people-friendly initiatives taken up by the police and increased visible policing helped in bringing down the crime rate and make the commissionerate a safe place. Oh have 350 mobile patrolling parties, one can find a policeman anywhere and any time who can't be approached by those in distress divided by he pointed out. Incident occurred when layers of earth and unwanted material were being removed. Eleven persons were killed and more than 50 trapped when an open cast mine caved in on Thursday evening at Raj Mahal in Jaihark Hans Godda district. The cave in occurred when layers of earth and other unwanted material, referred to as over burden dump, were being removed. Five bodies identified. Five bodies have been identified so far and the dead are mainly contract workers from adjoining Bihar. Officials of the Eastern Coalfields Limited ECL described the subsidence as unprecedented. Several payloaders and dumpers including mining machinery also lie buried. Primaphasy, it is observed that the incidence is unprecedented, since a 300 meters x 110 dam solid floor of the overburden dump area has slid down by about 35 meters, involving around 9.5 million cubic meters of earth material, ECL officials said. Teams of the National Disaster Response Force have joined the rescue operations, being supervised by senior ECL and state government officials. An inquiry has been ordered by the Director General of Mine Safety and High Level Committee of Experts has been constituted by Coal India Limited to investigate the accident. A compensation of five lakh has been announced for the family of the deceased. <laughs> The move to tighten tax treaties is part of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's anti-corruption drive. India will start imposing capital gains tax on investments coming from Singapore from April and fully withdraw exemptions in two years as the two countries agreed to amend the decade-old treaty after New Delhi rolled back similar concessions to Mauritius and Cyprus earlier this year. With the amendments announced by Finance Minister Arun Jaitley, investors based in Singapore will no longer benefit from tax exemptions on capital gains taxes.
changes to the treaty with the Asian Financial Center had been widely expected after India this year similarly redirected a 33-year-old tax treaty with Mauritius. The tax treaty between India and Singapore had a provision that any changes in the Mauritius Treaty would automatically apply to the one with the Asian country. The move to tighten tax treaties is part of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's anti-corruption drive, which includes tightening loopholes for firms or rich individuals setting up the presence in jurisdictions with tax exemption treaties. Regulators have long suspected rich Indians were routing cash through these tax jurisdictions and channeling money back to India in a practice known as all-round tricking. Device divided by so are able to give a reasonable burial to this black money route divided by Mr. Jindley told reporters at a news briefing capital gains tax will be imposed on investments from Singapore that are made from April onwards the tax rate will be half the prevailing Indian rate for the next two years and rates will then be equated by April 2019 Mr. Jiley said, Singapore has been an increasingly popular source of foreign investment into India. Foreign direct investment flows from Singapore stood at $50.6 billion between April 2000 and September 2016, contributing more than 16% to total capital inflows during that period, second only to Mauritius.